Welcome Pisces. This is your love reading for the month of February 2019. This channel is called The Witching Hour. My name is Michelle and I'm a witch. Some white sage for us, for you, for me, for the cards. The cards I'm using today are called um, Connolly Tarot. I'm using the Connolly Tarot created by Eileen Connolly illustrated by her son Peter Paul Connolly. To clarify at the end of the reading, I'm going to be using Witch's Wisdom Oracle cards as a spirit card. These are created by Barbara Michael John Free and Flavia Kate Peters. I'll begin shuffling and evoking the elements and guardians of the directions. I call in and evoke the elements of earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. I welcome and greet the directions and guardians of the north, east, south, and west. I welcome the divine and all our allies in spirit, our guides, guardians, spirit guides, ancestors, and loved ones in spirit. I pray for discernment, wisdom, and illumination. That we may see clearly the truth for our highest path in love. For the highest good. So may it be. This reading is for Romantic love, who is your future partner? If you're coupled, however, no worries. You can apply the truth that resonates for your situation and leave the rest. But I will read it specifically for singles. So you'll have to, if you're coupled, you will have to take what resonates and leave the rest. I feel my feeling when I began scrying with the smoke from the white sage. Is that you do have enough power, Pisces. This is, I, I feel like there's something about power. And I feel that your personal energy, your personal circumstances, life path are affecting and influencing, for the better, your romantic life path. And it's going to come out in this reading. I feel that your power, your personal power, is going to align with your romantic love at this time for this reading. Cards are ready to be cut. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, <laughs> the card of masculine power, whether you're male or female. This is about masculine, divine masculine energy. In the earth plane, our personal power. Um, the first thing I got and this is reflective of your energy or what spirit is creating within you right now is this man answers to no one. And that doesn't mean he is a despot, despot or a tyrant or anything like that. It means he, he stands in his own authority. The person coming in for you is a traditionalist. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The person you're going to meet, for those of you coupled, the energy embodying itself in your significant other, okay? For singles, this pertains to the person you're going to meet, the person whose energy is coming in. Now, this is in alignment with you, and you may not feel that this is in a, a reflection of how powerful you are, and yet it, it truly is. You have more power than you think you do. I feel that this person has a very... Um, if you were to see this person as a reflection of you, you wouldn't believe it. And yet, that's what this card is saying. It's, it's, it's powerful and it's for the long term. 
This is a new person. Not, if you're single, it's not someone you've, it's not someone you already know, okay? If you're coupled, you're going to have to read into that as it reflects who you are already with in an established relationship. But for singles, this reflects your power, this person coming in. And you might not believe that because you might not be used to seeing yourself in this way. How you meet is that they come towards you. They make overtures towards you. This is the Knight of Cups. This is... I'm going to say that they meet you, you meet one another in a traditional way. It might be through your family. It might be through friends and coworkers. It's, I feel that there's a safe environment. So that will be key um, for you to look out for these signposts, that you meet them in a safe environment, that you meet them with backup from others, that you have a good background story of this person that you don't meet someone out of the clear blue sky whose background you know nothing of. This is someone whose background you can have quick and easy access to. Their real background. People can vouch for them is what I'm getting. The strong, very strong energy I'm getting is that people can vouch for this person. If you're looking for someone, you need to make sure that others can vouch for this person. Because what I see is them approaching your family or group environment, whether that be family, home, work, that type of thing, social circles. This person is approaching the group setting in a traditional way. In person. In person. They are personally involving themselves in your life. I keep getting the word they're making overtures. They're making overtures. Your first impression of them is their reflection of the divine masculine how they hold look at this is the these are the strong traditional long-term longevity signs and this is why because the impression you get from this person is that they're trustworthy they're capable all of this is being channeled right now all of these um significant words trustworthy capable you will feel it in your gut that they're trustworthy and capable. Uh, there will be backup. There will be background history of this person. Other people that you can trust and rely on will vouch for this person. And this is what you need to look for, is that feeling of reassurance. It's a reassuring feeling that you will get. If you do not get that reassuring feeling in your gut, do not go for it. Or you must wait for them to prove themselves. Wait for that reassuring feeling in your gut. Do not take chances. Do not take risks. Be with someone you can only cultivate trust with who is candid and open. And this person should display those qualities to you. To watch out for this. I keep getting watch out for this. Watch for that. Don't look for the bad scary stuff. Don't look for the red flags. Look for the positive that you want. Keep your eye on what you want, and then what you want will appear in front of you. That makes sense? Manifesting 101. Look for once what you want in a person, and those qualities will appear before you. How they affect you is... The five... Of pentacles here is a blindfolded woman and she's being the blindfold is being removed by an angel by a cherub so that that's reflective of God and spirit so God is taking the blinders off your eyes and seeing the potential for where you can go with this this person will act as, in a functional way, this person will act as a way of removing a blinder from your eye, seeing things that you could not see before. I'm holding it next to the other cards to let them tell the story. 
Yeah, I feel like they reveal to you, keeping in mind that you've chosen the right person who has proven their trustworthiness, they reveal to you their trustworthiness. That's their effect on you, is that you go from feeling in the dark, not knowing what you have, um, showing you what's possible. This person opens your eyes. The nature of the relationship is depicted by the Queen of Wands. This woman is self-assured. This woman feels secure. This woman feels empowered, self-empowered. This woman feels that she has solid ground to stand on. She feels abundant. So the nature of this, and she is the witch of the deck. She's the witch of all the queens in the deck. She has a black cat there, her familiar, her wand. This, that's, that's no accident. She's queen of wands because she is a witch. So she has her own power, and I think this person will be revealing to you things you don't know about yourself regarding power. And there it is. That was the feeling of power coming through. It's the power revealed to you through love that is established in trust. That's it. And if it don't feel that way, don't go for it. Think only of the things you want to see, and you will see them. So think of all the positive stuff that you want to see in a person. The crucible of the relationship is that this is a transformational relationship. The whole thing turns you on your head almost. It gets you to, see, it's eye-opening, I'm telling you. This relationship, this connection with this new person is going to be so eye-opening. It will change your view of reality in a good way for the better. That freaks you out a little, a little bit. I think you're used to having this blindness when it comes to relationships that you feel that what you can't see you won't know um you'll have to find out you you um that people aren't very forthcoming typically for you and this is going to be different this person is going to be forthcoming so much and you're just not used to that they reveal themselves to you they reveal you to yourself or things about you that you did not know you are self-aware, Pisces, and that's the thing. But it's like they're going to give you a different perspective of yourself that changes how you see yourself and your reality and how you feel about yourself. The end result of this relationship is the Ace of Swords. Told you it was going to be good. This is victory, discernment, wisdom, boundaries, having healthy boundaries. Sight, insight, clear, clear, clear insight that is empowering. This person will have a, it's a good, it's a good solid relationship. It's as, it's funny, as lofty as all of that previous stuff sounds, it's going to be a very down to earth relationship is what I feel. This person's very grounded, very down to earth. They reveal to you things about yourself that you didn't even have access to because you had trust issues. They're going to make you feel more empowered. They're going to help you trust your feelings for a change. Trust your feelings, not just what you see. They're going to tell you whatever. You're going to be able to see them. They're very, um, they're very, what's the word? Self-revealing. They're not afraid to reveal themselves. Um, they... You can trust what you see. You can trust what you feel. This is different than other relationships you've been in with, uh, in with people, uh, with others. So, and it's it offers a divine insight, a divine clarity. That's the end result. And the uh, the effect this relationship will have on you is the Ace of Cups. Okay, so um. I mean, come on, use your own discernment and let them reveal themselves to you. Allow them to reveal the qualities in you that, that you're unaware of, that you never really looked at before. They're going to reveal themselves to you. 
without even batting an eyelash. They're just a very open, candid person. You can trust them. You will feel this trust and you can trust your own feelings. And you can, because of all the, um, the background, the back story that you, that you have, um, other people can vouch for them that type of things. And if you don't know this, that's what you need to look for. The end result will be the Ace of Cups, that you'll have peace, that you'll feel a, a better connection to the divine, a better connection to yourself. You're going to love yourself more. You're not going to be left out in the cold. If this person seems overly confident in the beginning, and that's your initial impression of them is like, what do they want to do with me? I'm, but that may only be a first impression. They're going to reveal things about you that you didn't acknowledge about yourself that are good. What you're going to learn is the high priestess. How intuitive and discerning you actually are to trust your feelings that the truth is always revealed through action and you will see that with this person. And you'll know if you're not seeing what you need to see from this person. Like in other words, you can trust your own instincts that you'll see what you need to see to make the decision that you want to have. You're not going to kid yourself. You're not going to lie to yourself. You're going to trust your feelings. You're going to trust your instincts. I would say that these are all, these are all either court cards, major arcana, or aces. Holy shit, Pisces. I don't see, there are no pip cards in this. This is a major, your next relationship, even if it doesn't come by February 28th, and if it's a leap year, the 29th, I don't even know. But if it doesn't come in the month of February, relax, first of all. But this energy is saying that this is going to be your next major relationship romantically. This is heavy hitting. This is not a trivial fly-by-night little insignificant relationship the next one is going to be the one the next one coming in and this is a new person but it's someone other people can vouch for so i'm going to draw wow i wish you could feel the energy I, I it's hard to articulate because what i'm getting a lot is energetic feeling and emotions and clarity and certainty and i'm feeling it emotionally and it's hard to articulate to you how strong this feels and how, how solid it feels. It feels very solid what's coming in. Look for those specific feelings. Trustworthiness, openness. People can vouch for this person. You can trust how you feel. You can trust that you'll learn and see things about yourself. How you feel about spiritual things. How you discern things from now on. The underlying card is that of your ancestors and remembrance. This could be a past life thing is what I'm getting. The actual card is the circle, the magic circle with the energy of protection. So you're safe within this circle. If you stay within the circle, depend on the guidance, ancestors, remembrance, your instincts, rely on your instincts, your instincts and the backup story, other people vouching for this person, their intentions revealing themselves openly um, you can see, 
you can see what they're like by the way they are on the outside because you're going to be given discernment. You don't have to spend so much time, you know, checking and cross-referencing and finding out this person's background. It won't be a, a challenge to your feelings of trustworthiness. They will reveal their trustworthiness. And if they don't, you'll know that. You'll feel it in your gut. But for the one that you're going to meet, every card on this table says that it's all good. So I, it's, it's crazy. I don't think you're used to feeling that, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And it's going to be very empowering for you. And it's going to be wonderful. I mean, these are all strong cards. Ten of coins, knight of cups, king of pentacles, five of pentacles with the, with the veil being taken off, queen of one. Oh, that is a pip card. Sorry. There's one pip card, which is the five of pentacles, which stands for the energy of um, how they will affect you. And in this deck, it's not depicted as it is in other decks. This is God taking off the blindfold of you feeling that you're in the dark. And you're not used to feeling that way. That's what I keep getting is this revelation, this revelation. Things coming out into the light. You seeing things as they really are. This person just naturally revealing themselves to you in a very easy normal way, which is not what you're used to because you do have trust issues in general based on past relationships. This one is going to be very revealing to you to the point that it's like you can finally trust what you see and you can finally feel good about trusting your own feelings and trusting your own intuition you're going to know this is going to be like a good example of a relationship and it's going to reset you. That's the absolute final word from spirit on spirit. It's going to reset you. That's why it feels so transformational. You're going to be able to actually have a relationship based on trust, based on what you see. You can trust what you see and feel on the inside. They're going to match up. Someone is going to actually match up with what you want and it's going to feel good and you're going to be able to trust your feelings all strong heavy hitting cards every one of them a major card and even that pip card feels major to me so and you're protected you're protected your love will protect you and this experience will be safe one to have keep that in mind and it will help you build and heal trust issues and create a new life for yourself and a new way of relating to people, especially this person. So this is great. Hope you enjoyed your reading, Pisces. Leave a comment, please, if this resonates for you and if you can feel the energy of the reading. And if you can, leave a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you would like to connect with me for a personal reading or to donate to this channel, the links are in the drop-down box below this screen. Check out my video library and see if there's anything there that resonates for you. Ignore the dates. They're all timeless, but they're there for reference. They're all there by sign. So check out your moon, rising, sun signs, Venus, Jupiter, whatever you want. The elements. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep this in mind that you're manifesting something that's actually the real deal here. You might have to pinch yourself, but keep going with it and let it reveal itself because it's going to. So leave a comment if that resonated. And until we meet again, from my soul to yours, much, much love and brightest blessings. Take care. Bye-bye.